Hey, good evening. It is the Wednesday, the 29th of March, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Rammer. Unlike yesterday, it is not 2013, but it is indeed 2023. If it was 2013, I would have much more hair on top of my head. But guess what? It is time for the Texas Weather Roundup. All right, and it is the Texas Weather Roundup for Wednesday, the 29th of March, 2023, a Wednesday evening special. I am David Reimer with the Texas Storm Chasers, and we are going to have a bit of weather to talk about over the next few days across Texas, but the main story in terms of temperatures, at least, is it's going to stay warm, and then we're just going to get a little preview of summer by the weekend and early next week, but we do need to get through tomorrow, and especially Friday first. Let's just pop on over to the high-resolution rapid refresh model for tomorrow into Friday, and you can see we're going to start off Thursday with clouds and even some showers across much of the state. As we head into late Thursday and Friday, you're going to see that cloud line starting to clear from west to east. That's going to be the dry line moving east. And with that, we could see a few thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening in northwest Texas, Texoma. And then Friday morning to about lunchtime, maybe a few hours after that into early Friday afternoon, we could see a few storms in northeast Texas. But by far, a majority of the severe weather threats on well, pretty much tomorrow, if there is any severe weather, and then especially Friday, will be to our northeast. We're kind of going to luck out on this one, it looks like, in terms of not having too much in the way of severe weather issues. But just like last week, if we have one severe storm drop one random tornado, even if it's a brief little one, and it comes down your block, well, it's not going to be a great day for you. So, as always, we do encourage you to pay attention. Here are the severe weather outlooks for tomorrow and Friday. For tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, there is a low threat for a severe thunderstorm in northwest Texas late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening and then perhaps further east in Texoma tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening uh, the threat for some marginally severe hail maybe quarter size if we got a rowdy storm maybe golf pole size hail and again that is if we have severe storms at all tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening uh, the threat for a few storms generally will be highest near the red river in texoma maybe a 30 percent chance and then farther west in northwest texas maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance we have to deal with a supercell thunderstorm firing off the dry line and if by chance there was to be a severe storm that fired off the dry line tomorrow afternoon in northwest texas or southwest oklahoma it would have the potential to produce large hail, damaging winds, and a tornado. But again, that is one of those very low probability scenarios which could be problematic if it happened. So we head into Friday. As the person walking in, you're fine. So we head into Friday. This is the severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, dry line cold front's going to start moving east quite early in the morning, and by about lunchtime, it's probably going to be over I-35 in North Texas and may already be east of I-35, frankly. Uh, and in the dry line's wake, skies are going to clear. We're going to have strong west winds, 30, 40, 50, gusting up to 60 miles an hour in spots, widespread blowing dust, a significant risk of wildfires. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but in terms of severe storms, there is the chance for a few severe storms Friday morning into the early afternoon hours on Friday across generally northeast Texas. Uh, damaging winds, 60, 70 miles an hour, and that's just because we have a lot of wind aloft that some of those storms might be able to mix down to the surface pretty easily. Otherwise, it does look like uh, we're going to luck out again on this. Uh, we're going to be right on the edge of severe weather threat, and we may get away with not having too many issues, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. I'm not overly concerned, obviously, at this point, but again, if we did have a line of thunderstorms develop along the cold front and had more storms than expected, damaging straight line winds 60 to 70 miles an hour, maybe some nickel to quarter size hail, and maybe a brief tornado with the fast moving line of storms before they were in Louisiana, Arkansas by mid-afternoon, leaving us with... Uh, wildfires, blowing dust, strong west winds, and much drier air. And again, 
we are going to be dealing with fire problems. Uh, the fire outlook from the Texas A&M Forest Service and Texas A&M, this is for tomorrow and Friday for Thursday, generally a moderate to high fire danger rating across Texas, a little bit of very high across the Panhandle and then back into the Borderland, Davis, uh, Guadalupe Mounds, and the Trans-Pecos. And then on Friday, we're going to have very high to locally extreme wildfire danger across pretty much the western third of Texas with the very high threat of wildfire danger, even parts of North Texas, the Hill Country, etc. The outlook for Friday, that may be a little conservative. I wouldn't be surprised to see those higher ratings expand further east and possibly increase. Uh, Friday could be a very busy wildfire day as we see west winds, again, gusting 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, relative humidity below 10% in some locations behind the dry line, very warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine, uh, and blowing dust. Uh, we're probably going to see blowing dust as early as Friday morning in the Panhandle, West Texas, the Big Country, the Permian Basin, Far West Texas, New Mexico. All that's going to get lofted up, and that's just going to get shoved on east with the dry line as we head into Friday and Friday night. So we could see, uh, again, don't be shocked if you're in all of Texas. Uh, it's probably going to look a bit dusty by Saturday as all that dust floats east. But we could see legit uh, visibility reductions Friday, Friday afternoon and Friday night. And hopefully we don't have an actual wall of dust, but it's going to be windy, so welcome to spring when you're dealing with some drought conditions. So we deal with temperatures. I'll go ahead and pop these up. This is the high temperature forecast for Thursday. And again, we're not expecting any big time Arctic outbreaks in the state over the next several days at least. Uh, high temperatures tomorrow, 70s and 80s statewide. Friday, we're going to see temperatures 70s with 80s and 90s across the southeastern half of Texas. Saturday, uh, 70s and 80s across Texas. Those 90s back off a bit down in the Edwards Plateau. Sunday, we're going to start warming up across the western half of Texas with 80s and 90s possible. And then by Monday, it's going to feel like uh, May to June across the state. We're going to see upper 80s, 90s, and even some triple digits across the entire state. And these temperatures may still get picked up a couple of degrees as we get closer. Monday and Tuesday are looking quite warm. In terms of precipitation chances, there's a chance for a few storms across southeastern Texas on Sunday. We'll take a look at that after we deal with tomorrow and Friday. And then perhaps the chance for a few severe storms on Tuesday. Again, a springtime weather pattern definitely continues, so we'll be keeping an eye out for storm chances. And as these temperatures continue increasing, uh, we're also going to be dealing with an increased threat for wildfires because, well, drought conditions do continue across several regions. And unless we start getting some good widespread rains, we're just going to keep drying out. And as these temperatures go up, the surface fuels become even drier. And voila, we are well back into our wildfire season. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I do actually plan on producing a Thursday morning edition of the Texas Weather Roundup this time. Uh, so we'll have that out by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And as always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just head to Texas Weather dot app and your browser it'll take you right to the app we have a new app out on google play store and it should be out here on the uh well, app store here probably tonight or tomorrow the way it's looking they just have to approve it but if you're using apple you can still download our free mobile app it's just version one which still works great and once the version two is out you're able to download it you'll get an update notification if you're on google play you can go download version two now uh, we've heard a lot of great things we're very happy with it so We'll talk to you all tomorrow morning. Have a great evening. God bless.